In this video, I'm going to tell you how an Oracle database shutdown happens. I'm assuming the instance is already started and users are connected and working with it. Changes could have happened in the buffer cache, entries are made in the read log buffer, time to time log writer would have written these into the read log. But still, as of now, there could be changes that are entered into the read log buffer but not yet committed. There could be changes in the buffer cache which are not yet written down into the data file. At this moment, a user could go and issue a shutdown. When I say a user, I'm referring to a database administrator. Users generally will not have the privilege to shut down a database. There are different types of shutdown. The default is shutdown normal. Then you have something called shutdown immediate, shutdown transactional, and shutdown abort. So what is the difference between these? At the end of the day, when a shutdown happens, for a shutdown to be called as a clean shutdown, the entries in the memory have to be synced into the files and the database should be checkpointed and shut down so that when we start up again, there is no need to perform instance recovery. First thing, whenever a shutdown command is issued, what about new sessions that want to establish? Then, what about ongoing transactions? What about existing connections or sessions? And what about a checkpoint? These are four important aspects that are to be considered. A shutdown normal, when you have shutdown transactional, shutdown immediate, and shutdown bot. What happens? That's what I'm going to show here. New connections are not allowed in any form of shutdown. Whether you do a normal, transactional, immediate, or a bot, no new connections are anyway going to be allowed. Ongoing transactions continue to happen. In a transactional shutdown also they continue to happen. When you do an immediate or a bot, ongoing transactions are stopped. Which means there is no purpose of commit after the shutdown command is being issued. Because the moment somebody issues a shutdown immediate or a shutdown a bot, users who have not yet committed cannot commit their transaction they have to redo it that's an ongoing transaction status for immediate and abort not allowed existing connections continue to exist transactions anyway i said continue to exist for transactional systems also existing connections continue to exist when you do an immediate connections are cut out when you do a shutdown abort also existing connections are immediately terminated so checkpoint is anyway going to happen in all these but not in this so the only difference between an immediate and a bot is simple if you do a shutdown a bot it's as good as switching off the server the memory is crashed and nothing is going to be recorded from the memory into the files when you do a shutdown immediate all existing sessions are terminated existing sessions transactions are terminated but whatever changes are there in the buffer cache are written down into the data files for the committed transaction so that's something that happens so if you do a shutdown immediate when you start up again there is no need to do instance recovery but if you did a shutdown abort when you start up there will be recovery that will happen for your instance in the case of shutdown transactional ongoing transactions are allowed but the existing connections get terminated whenever the transaction is completed which means the database instance is not going to wait for users to exit out of their sessions so whenever the transaction completes automatically existing connections are terminated and a checkpoint is performed and the database is shut down what happens when you are normal existing connections continue to exist so the database will not shut down if there are any existing connections, which means 
users have to exit explicitly in a normal shutdown that's the difference between this and this in a transactional shutdown users continue with their transactions whenever a user issues a commit or rollback that statement is processed and immediately their session is terminated checkpoint shutdown so the database will wait for all users to complete their current transactions automatically terminate them and shut down whereas in a normal shutdown users can continue to work no new connections allowed but existing sessions can continue to work and after they commit they can continue to perform new transactions but the moment they exit out of their session they cannot connect again and once all users have exited a checkpoint is done and the database is shut down so there are basically four types of shutdown normal transactional immediate and abort all these three have a checkpoint occurring which is a clean shutdown which results in the next time me starting this database will start up properly whereas if there is a shutdown abort there is a need for instance recovery so these are the different types of shutdown and the shutdown sequence what happens when a database is shut down so with that the previous video told you about how do you start up and what happens during a shutdown was discussed in this video